for everything scary, I'm G, I'm Hans, and today I am here with my pre-review of the Spear Halloween Lord Doc Hanavar animatronic. actually got my Spear Halloween Lord Doc Hanavar animatronic in, which by the way, I'm filming this on the 2nd, I'm supposed to get it on the 4th now. I know in my previous live stream I said I was going to get it on the 1st, but Spirit changed it in my uh, order, and they changed it to December 4th, which is this upcoming Friday. So before Friday comes, and before I get him in the mail, I saw that a video came out from a YouTuber named as Cauldron Cindy. Now definitely shout out to Cauldron Cindy, because she already got her Lord Doc Hanavar, and I don't know how. She got it yesterday, which again, I have no idea how, if you already got it, if you ordered it, but somehow they were already, they already got it, and they were able to do a review on it. So before I actually get mine in hand, I wanted to do what I call a pre-review, and see what I think of it based off this uh, first unboxing, and then we're going to do a real review when I actually get them, so we'll be able to tell the difference of what I liked about him when I saw him in a video, versus what I actually thought when I got him in person. So again, everything I'm looking at here is from the YouTuber Cauldron Cindy. I'll put her link at the top of the description so she gets credit for the, this video. But anyway, let's get right into the pre-review. So the first thing I want to look at that she showed off, just a small little thing, is the box. So obviously no one knew what the Lord Doc and of our box was going to look like uh, until the first person got it. And obviously Cauldron Cindy was the first one. So she showed off this box. Now, I actually really like it. I thought it was going to be a kind of generic looking one, but this is one of, I think this is a really cool design. So, obviously, it has the same design on the back and same font as everything as the 2019 and 2020 Spirit Halloween boxes. But something interesting about it is that the photos on the box are actually from the prototype that we act, the, the prototype that we got images of a while back. Obviously, the image on the front and then on the side is the prototype. So, that means, obviously, if you don't know, this animatronic was supposed to be released in 2019 as, in, as an in-store item. So most likely these are the boxes that they were going to use in 2019 and they didn't want to reprint them with the new images. So the box does have prototype images on it, but I still like it. I like how on the front it has a really nice big picture of him hanging down. It says, Lord Doc Hanavar, head nods up and down with mouth movement, red LED eyes fading out, speaks four blood chilling phrases and 4.8 feet tall. So it has some bullet points there, and I really like the picture. Even though it's a prototype, I still really like how they put it on there with him hanging down. So that's just one little thing I wanted to look at, because I really do like the box and I wanted to show it off. Anyway, let's look at the next image. So for the next thing I wanted to look at, I wanted to just do an overview of the entire body. So obviously, this is the body and kind of entire animatronic of Lord Doc Hanavar. So as you can see, he does look very, very cool. As in, like, when I reacted to him, he looks really amazing, and he's definitely one of my favorite animatronics of the season, just because of the sheer detail on this guy. Spirit and YJ did a really nice job of the sculpt here and adding the veins on his hands and all the details on his body. That being said, I want to look at the face here. The face on this Lord Docket of R is really, really nice. One of my favorite things, might be my favorite thing about the animatronic, is the black eyes. So when we saw the video of him, the stock video and the stock photos, you couldn't really see those black eyes. It just, they only showed off the red ones. But truthfully, I think I like these black ones when he's not turned on more than the red ones when he is turned on. The black eyes look really, really uh, menacing. They look really cool for this vampire aesthetic, and I really, really like it. Uh, the face, again, has a really nice sculpt all around. I really like that mouth with the teeth. The teeth have a lot of detail in between. It has the pink tongue. I really like how you can see all the, the uh, kind of uh, lines in his forehead. He has the pointy vampire ears. But one of the things I don't like about this animatronic, and Cauldron, Cauldron City does mention this, the body looks not even similar, really, to how it did look in the stock photos. As you can see, it's very thin and does kind of wrinkle up around the arms and the motion sensor, but there's a good thing about this. It's possible that this is not how it looks for all Lord Doc Hanavars. For example, there are some Uncle Charlies out there and Peekaboo Clowns where the face sculpt look really, really bad because it got distorted because of the material. 
So it's possible that this Lord Doc Conovar looks bad because of the material and it got a, and she got a distorted one but i'm gonna get a one that doesn't look distorted or someone else is gonna get one that doesn't look distorted so just keep that in mind uh even though it is kind of wrinkled i still think that he looks really really nice again still one of my favorites of the season i'm not regarding my purchase at all i'm definitely still gonna keep them but uh, again, it could just be a thing of you get a distorted one, it doesn't look as good. But either way, even though the body doesn't look perfect, the face does look absolutely amazing, and it still looks like a really nice face sculpt. Anyway, let's take a look at the next image. So the last image I wanted to take a look at is just a small little thing, but it's kind of a big deal. So obviously, Lord Doc Hanavar is a vampire who's meant to look like he's hanging upside down like a bat from his bat kind of cloak or bat wing, whatever you want to call it. So one thing that worried me when I ordered him would be that was that I thought that this material was going to be really thin and it would rip easily, but Colton Cindy actually said that it's double layered and kind of thick, which definitely and padded, which definitely makes me a little more uh, excited to get him because I'm happy to know that it's a good material, it's not crap, that isn't going to rip when I hang him upside down. One thing that disappointed her, which I don't really care about, she thought that it was going to be black, and I think a lot of other people also thought that it was going to be black like a bat's wing, like because a bat is black or black material, black looking. Uh, but I, re I really didn't think that. E even in the stock photos, the wing definitely looked exactly how it, how it actually came out, where that kind of dark gray or maybe really, really, really dark red color. Um, so I, re I didn't think it was going to be black, and I'm actually happy with the way they did it, because I think a flat black color would kind of look fake. So I like how they did that color instead with for the wing. So that definitely makes me happy that it's a good thick material and I'm excited to feel it when I get it in person. That's going to wrap up this pre-review, my first ever pre-review of Lord Doc Hanavar. So let's cut to the outro. So it's going to wrap up my first ever pre-review of Lord Doc Hanavar. Let me know if you're running a comment down below. Are you excited for my uh, review and unboxing of Lord Doc Hanavar? Are you not? Let me know if you're running a comment down below. Again, even though the Halloween season is over, I plan to upload videos throughout the entire season. Halloween never stops on the GM Haunts YouTube channel. As always, don't forget, for everything scary, I'm GM Haunts. I'll see you guys later for more spooky videos. Goodbye.